All right, guys, uh, welcome back. We're going to do another uh, identifying functional group um, exercise. Uh, let's go ahead and pu uh, pull up the uh, sheet that we will be referring back and forth to, which is the organic functional group handout. Um, so let's go ahead and look at some. Okay. Well, here's the one that uh, we're going to look at today. There's two drawings here, so let's go ahead and make use of our time. Let's circle the uh, most obvious ones first. Um, here's one, uh, this one right here. Okay. Now I'm just going to circle uh, the OH, uh, which we we know that's like a hydroxyl if we were naming um, compounds and things like that, or uh, an alcohol. Uh, but since we're talking about functional groups, it's an alcohol, so we're not going to call it a hydroxyl. We're just going to call it an alcohol. And the alcohols are, let's see, did I already pass it up on here? Alcohol, yep, right there. So it's some type of carbon chain, this R, and an OH. Okay, and here is their example, some type of carbon chain uh, with an OH. Okay, so immediately I know that that's an alcohol, so I'm going to put a 1 there. And let's go ahead and call it an alcohol. Uh, number one, alcohol, uh, A-L. Now, it's okay if you're like me, if you're not great at spelling, just look back at these. al co -hal. Okay, al co -hal. All right, there's the first one. Um, the next one that's kind of obvious and that sticks out to me is this group right here. Okay, now this is group two. This is a ketone. Okay. Now, the reason why I know that this is a ketone, notice that this double bonded O is attached to a carbon. And to its left and to its right, meaning the central carbon, uh, it's just other carbon chains. So those are R's. Maybe an R and an R prime or an R and an R prime. Okay. But still, it's easy to see that it's a ketone. And I just look at this and I'm thinking it looks like a keyhole. So that's the way I remember it. Okay, so number two here is a uh, ketone. All right, uh, the next one um, that kind of jumps out at me is this one. Now, I'm going to call this number three. Now, this one is actually, hmm, well, if that's a ketone, well, what's this? Well, this, notice that we have an oxygen. Okay, now if you look back at your functional groups, okay, uh, very few of them, meaning three, involve oxygens um, and carbon chains. That would be an ether, uh, that would also be an ester, and the other one, of course, is the ketone. Okay, but if you notice, the ketone and the ester both involve a double bonded O. Okay, it's just the ester is plural. I look at it as being plural because it's got the s in it. Okay, because it's got two o's. Okay, the ketone only one, and it looks like a key. Uh, the other is the ether. Notice that the ether uh, only has okay uh, a single o. Now, I'm sorry, the word ether almost sounds like either. And you know, in English. Uh, at least I remember this from uh, middle school, elementary and middle and high school and in college. Uh, the teacher's talking about either and or. Okay, so if you look, this is or, O-R, and I guess if you look at left to right, it's or as well. Okay, so that's the way you can remember either or, ether, either or. Okay, so any way that you can help uh, yourself remember these it would be great. So number three is an ether. Okay, so let's go ahead and say that. Three is an ether. Okay. Uh, my fourth one uh, is these double bonds here. Okay. This, 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 and this, and this, and this. Okay. That's my fourth ones. Okay. Uh, I'll just put a four on both of these. Okay. I'm meaning well on these three and on these three. And that four is going to be my, remember, what types of bonds are single bonds? Alkanes. 
double bonds are alkenes and alkynes are triple bonds. So this is an alkene. Okay. A and E is single, E and E is uh, double, and Y and E is triple. So this drawing is done. Now let's go down here and look at this other one. Okay. Now let's look for the most obvious. Here's one that's obvious. This is definitely a functional group. Okay. This is the first one on this drawing. Um, if this OH was down here, we would have a ketone because we'd have a double bonded O on a C. To the left, we would have a carbon chain, and this, oh, it's not a carbon chain, so it's not a ketone. Now, this is a carboxylic acid. So, now let me show you why this is a carboxylic acid, okay? Now, carboxylic acid has what we would call maybe a ketone feature. It has the C with a double bonded O on it, but it only has one carbon chain on, on one of its sides. The other side is a hydroxyl group, an alcohol group. So basically, these t these two groups being together, these two functional groups on this joined um, carbon helps us to identify as a carboxylic acid. So you see the the general aesthetics of it. Basically, you know how it's appealing to us and how it looks. Okay, there's the carbon right there where my uh, mouse is. There's the double bonded O, and there's the uh, hydroxyl group on it. So since these two functional groups are attached to this central carbon that you see here then I know that it's a carboxylic acid. Okay, so anytime that you can name two functional groups on one central carbon, then you know for sure that it's it's definitely going to be a functional group, but don't you will not name two functional group two functional groups on one central carbon. So go through your list and think about it and you'll you'll probably find it. I think that's the way you spell carboxyl. Let's make sure though. Uh carboxyl so basically a uh, carb carbox carboxylic acid carboxyl I said just say carboxyls uh, Y L I C acid so that's a carboxylic acid uh, the other one that we're going to look at is well the obvious ones you know this double bond here and here and here double bonds uh, then we'll say that's number two here we know that from the uh, earlier ones that we've done that this is alkane, alkene, or alkyne. Well, it's the double, so it's al alkane, alkene. It's an alkene, A L K E N A. See, even after all these years, that's the way that I still remember it going through it and saying it in my head. Now, here's one that we need to pay some attention to. I see N that has two hydrogens attached to it, and it's going to a central carbon right there and to its left or basically you could say up and to the right and down it's just carbon chains okay so basically this nitrogen is saying that that central carbon is all of its meaning it's not sharing it with anything so this would be an amine okay because it doesn't have to admit that it's sharing it with anyone so it's not an amide this is an amine it's saying it's all mine that carbon there is all mine so that's how I know that that one which will circle here that number three here is let me punch it in here three is an amine all mine amine okay now guys I hope that these uh, little videos here are helpful in identifying functional groups so uh, if you need to just watch it over and over and uh, I hope it helps. Alright guys.